Are your ollies looking horrendous? Do they look like this? Do you want to get them better and get them more boned out and just learn how to ollie in general? Well, you clicked on the right video because today I'm going to teach you how to ollie the right way and why you can't ollie right now. So I remember back in my day when I was watching trick tips, everybody kind of said the same thing, you know, pop, slide, jump, and then uh, right away clean, bolts, whatever. But people didn't really emphasize one tip. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what that tip is so you can get your ollies better. Also, if you're one of my normal viewers and you already know how to ollie, I'm sorry. I just want to teach some more people how to ollie because some tutorials can't teach ollies that well. So I feel like I'm going to be able to teach you how to ollie first and then how to get them higher and cleaner and more consistent. So. If you're into that, watch it. If you're my normal viewer, here's a uh, reel of some non-Ollie tricks. Woo! Um, I just did that back to back, so people who say barrel flips, like will mess up your tray flips, that's a lie. They're completely different tricks. All right, so that should satisfy you enough, but now I'm gonna get into just the basic tips of the Ollie. Okay guys, so like you've seen from many trick tips, a lot of people just say, get on the board, make sure your front foot's a little bit down from the bolts, and they're gonna say, pop, slide, and jump, all right? So if I just do what they said, most of the time it will look like this. It will look like that, but if you wanted to get it to look more like this, then the tip they are always missing is it's kind of small though you pop that's true but when you slide after you slide you're gonna jump but also push forward because that is the main thing that's gonna get your board to dip so think about this if you just pop and slide it's just gonna kind of get it a little bit up but if you actually push it all the way through so you pop slide push you see what this does it lifts up the back truck so a lot of people think like it might just lift a little bit if you just slide it like that, but if you actually push all the way, that's what's gonna send it this way. So a common mistake I kind of made is I was overcompensating with this trick that I kind of found out for myself because that was actually getting me to ollie with getting my back truck in the air. I was pushing too far over just like this. I was going like that. So the main thing is you're gonna wanna pop, slide, jump, but then wait like half a second before you actually push out and like down so I'll show you real quick in slow motion so the thing is you really just gotta like ninja kick the board in some ways you actually kind of do push down um, that's what kind of makes it give that little bone ollie um, if you're just starting though it's not gonna be as simple as that so just practice a lot of just pushing really hard out so just act like you're trying to shoot the board out with your front foot instead of only sliding up to the nose. So slide up to the nose, then push out. So a couple practice tips I recommend is, honestly just holding the board down like this and getting your foot used to sliding up because when you're first starting, it is not gonna be a comfortable feeling doing this. Your ankle is not used to just going like that. So honestly, you want to keep doing that, either just keep it still or you can actually slide it up. The thing is if you slide it up, you're gonna rip your shoe more. I have a giant hole in here, if you can see, but Honestly, as long as you get, I say, this motion down. So what I think when I do it is just kind of putting most of the pressure on the balls of my feet and my toes, and then go over to the pinky toe and then just roll it to the side like that. So honestly, I would just do this for about like five to 10 minutes because if you're just starting, that is gonna be one of the hardest things with ollies, just getting your foot to get used to that motion. Um, if you're already getting the ollies, like let's say you can do ollies kind of like this, then uh, the only thing that you're missing is shoving the board forward more. So like, I'll show you what it would probably look like instead of my ollies right now. If you're going like this, if you actually push forward, it would look a little bit more like, like that, like a small ollie. Another common mistake is that some people put their front foot way too far back because they think this is gonna get them the most slide to it. So basically, like I said before, the whole thing is pushing the board forward. So as long as your foot is somewhere in the middle or a little bit beneath the bolts, then you should be fine. You shouldn't have to go any farther back because what that's gonna do, you're not gonna have control and you're gonna be wobbling like this the whole time and you can't really, like my foot only does a small movement. So what you wanna do is put your foot either in the middle or a little bit under the front bolts. So all together it is pop, 
slide, jump, and push at the same time. So, pop, slide, jump, push, and then should do that. <laughs> also, another common mistake I usually see with people who can't get their board in the air is they're not putting the balls of their feet on the tip of the tail. So, what you have to do, I'm gonna sh just kind of show you close up if you don't know what the balls of your feet are. They're literally the little kind of padding things right here beneath your toes. So you wanna focus on kind of this area and a little bit on your toes. And I know I got hot dog socks on, it's kinda, you know, a little funky. <laughs> so what that's gonna look like, is you, like I said before, front foot's gonna be either in the middle or a little bit under the bolts. And then your toe, so the balls of your feet are gonna be on the tip of the tail. So one thing I recommend is don't put it like right here where you can see a lot of the tip of the tail. And then don't put it too far either where you're about to like hang off. So what you wanna do, you kind of just kind of get right in the sweep point, right on the tip of the tail. So don't hang off too much, but, but, but like be right here with the balls of your feet and your toes. So what, one thing you also want to do is make sure you point the balls of your feet and your toes to the ground while you're doing the trick. I'll show you, you can actually see my toe going down here. So this is just keeping it flat, right? But if you actually point it, this is going to go up. So what this is going to do, it's going to kind of drive more force into your pop since that's what you're actually pushing down with and while my shoes just came untied. <laughs> You're gonna point down, what's gonna do? You see here, when you push down, it's gonna be a little bit more powerful. I see a lot of people trying their ollies kind of flat-footed and not having their toe anywhere. So they're kind of just trying to ollie like this, where you can't really push that much on the ground. So you wanna make sure you use the toes and the balls of your feet here and actually push down. So you can also lift your heel up as a way of, another way of thinking of it. So once you do that, it should be a little better when actually popping the board down like this. So also another small common error that may happen is you might get no pop on it. So most of the time this is what happens. So if that happens a lot, what is happening is that either you're not pressing down hard enough when you're popping or you're sliding too fast before the pop. So this trick is very difficult to learn as a beginner. Once you get it down, it's gonna be one of the easiest tricks to do while you're out there just cause it's like a f solid foundation for all the other tricks. But basically what you wanna do is just practice that timing. So just like say in your head a bunch of times is pop, slide, jump, and push. So if you're just kind of popping halfway, then sliding before you actually hit the ground, it's gonna just go like, and that was my problem a lot. So basically, you're just gonna have to practice that timing a lot, just making sure you get the pop down before that. So it's a little tough, but that's the main thing what's happening, just gotta practice the timing, either just sit here practice doing this, or just practicing the slide motion. And just kind of putting those all together in, it's a little bit like multiple steps because it's not really just one step because it's all slightly together. But yeah, I'll just do it again like I did before. So, pop slide jump push, and then boom, you got it. <laughs> so that pretty much covered all of the common errors that I had when learning this trick and that I've seen from other people. If you have any other problems, let me know in the comments below or actually send me a DM on Instagram. I'm not gonna personally help you. But now I'm gonna go over just a few extra tips that might be a little helpful when learning the ollie or a few tips that might make it a little bit easier when you're trying it. Okay, so now some people may not like this, but a thing that's gonna help you in the long run is practicing your ollies while moving. Now first, I actually do recommend trying this trick stationary if you're just starting off is because riding board's gonna be a little uncomfortable. But that also plays into another tip is make sure you actually are comfortable on your board riding a lot as much as possible before trying this trick. Because if you're not comfortable, you're gonna be on here and you're gonna be wiggling and it's, you're not gonna be able to focus as well. So just make sure you ride to like everywhere you can go. Like I pretty much ride to every class I go to on my skateboard. So just go around your neighborhood, do anything. Just skateboard as much as possible because once you get the board feeling down, that's what's gonna help with most of your tricks. So I guess before you try it moving, where I'd want you at with an ollie is probably just, uh, like I said before, if you're like, once you get past this step where, let's say like you're not sliding as much and you use the push forward step where you can do this, then what I want you to do is actually try it while moving. I avoided this so much and it actually hurt me with my tricks because I couldn't ollie downstairs or anything. So what I recommend is actually getting any object uh, that's small, relatively for you, and practice ollieing over it. It doesn't even have to be an actual object, it can just be a line in the ground, or you can like draw some chalk, do something, just practicing ollieing past something. So what I'm gonna find right now is my camera bag. So let's say I put my camera bag right here, right? 
So what this is gonna do, it's gonna force me to practice my timing before going over the obstacle that I'm trying to do. So, like I said before, it doesn't even have to be something physically tall or anything that sticks up. It can just be a line in the ground. I'll kind of show you an example of both, but just practice awing over the object a bunch of times. It doesn't matter if you mess up because it's a learning process. You learn from your mistakes. So I'm gonna ollie over this right now. And there's a bunch of expensive equipment in there, so hopefully I don't break it. What you notice is you can actually ollie higher when you practice over objects because when you're just doing it plain on flat ground, then you actually have nothing to kind of try to maximize your height over. But if you're actually trying to go over an obstacle, it's gonna force you a little bit to try like, oh, hey, I need to get over this so I don't bump into it. So once you practice like lines or just objects on the ground, it'll help make your ollies a little bit higher and it'll also help with your timing for other tricks. So like I said before, it can even just be a line like this and always just try to make sure you practice awing before your front wheels go over the line. So one of the things I recommend the most is either getting like a stick or a twig or a water hose because those are the best to practice with because even the smallest always can pretty much make their ways over it. And one last tip that I have is that if you're too afraid to try it on concrete where like you say what if I fall slip it's gonna hurt then you can also practice in the grass but just know when you practice in the grass you're not gonna be able to get as solid as a pop as if you were on concrete just because it's gonna snap off the concrete a little bit better than just a soft uh, surface like the grass. So that's gonna wrap it up for my video of why you can't ollie. Don't take it offensively if uh, I said some of the bad ollies, like if they kind of looked like yours. They're not really bad, it's just the way I critique myself. So since I got them better, that's how I see bad. But progression is progression. So even if you like, it's not the perfect starting off, over time, as long as you keep practicing them, they're gonna get better. So it's gonna be pop, slide, jump, and then push forward. So just make sure you really emphasize that push forward. Um, even if you have to, land on your front truck first uh, when doing it, like my old ollies, if you really have to, just kind of, to kind of get that motion through your mind. Uh, but that's really what's gonna push the board up in the air and kind of get that bone on it, which will help you kind of ollie over obstacles. If you need any more help, just make sure you hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. The links will be in the description. But otherwise than that, this video helped. Make sure you like, comment down below if you need any more help or things that I missed that kind of helped you when learning the ollie. And of course, subscribe. Peace, thanks for watching.